Recently, we ran a great event hosted uh, by friends at Fraser Jones, looking at what's happening in the emerging talent market. And I just wanted to share some of the key things that really seem to capture the interest of the delegates at that event. So we talked a lot about how the levy was changing things. Uh, and so I shared some data from the Institute of Student Employers. We looked at last year, graduate vacancies grew by 1%, but for apprentices grew by 19%. Uh, so a real increase in the volume of apprentices being hired and particularly at the higher end. So level four and five apprentices, you're looking at an 18% increase, but level six and seven, so undergraduate degree and postgraduate, 50% increase. So a real increase in the demand for apprentices and that's a really strong message across the emerging talent landscape. Some of the key challenges facing those organisations on diversity and inclusion, candidate and line manager expectations, budget challenges, and really importantly, how can we engage with talent early to get the best talent to compete. So for an example of that would be how we're seeing our third of employers go live for their attraction in the autumn term of the final year of school. So a bit like university, that's when they're going live. They're not leaving it till later. Um, they're starting much earlier. Um, to engage with that talent. Um, we shared some of the business drivers for introducing an apprentice programme and, and what can be taken to the board uh, to convince them this is the way forward. I'm happy to share that um, if you would find that of interest, so do get in touch. We talked about really interesting insight into marketing to parents when it came to apprenticeships, particularly at high level. So where those young people were, had the grades to go on to university, um, uh, what kind of marketing is needed to get them to look at that alternative approach. Um, and the fact that nearly half of employers now market directly to parents. And again, we can share some insights into, into what's, uh, what's being done there. And I guess the fundamental uh, uh, message that came across around the apprenticeship piece was that you're competing against the university. And the university is a tried and tested route. It's really well known in schools. Teachers get it, teachers understand it. So how as an employer, how can you successfully compete against that? Not to stop people going to university, but to demonstrate it as a really serious other option. We talked about the issue of technology and how that can be leveraged to increase your reach, but also to provide an ongoing journey of progression so that you might do an event or interact with a young person through work experience or some kind of event in school or your offices, but what's next for them apart from go to our website, which is a bit uninspiring. Um, so we talked about some things that can be done to do that and the connector platform that we've created that brings to life digital mentors, harnesses peer-to-peer -peer mentoring uh, and can provide consistent support to all those young people who are interested in applying for your opportunities, be they apprentices or grads. And the final thing we talked about, what does an ideal early talent program look like from attraction, recruitment, uh, pre-boarding uh, and, and L&D. So lots of really good stuff. Happy to share lots more insights on any of those. If there's any specific areas you want to pick up on, please do get in touch. Um, but otherwise, another really great event and a big thank you, Fraser Jones. Thank you.